Hello and welcome back everyone to another PKHS Ideas Shorts video, the 16th one in the series and the 15th one for this year. So today what we'll be looking at is an interesting game between Glucksberg B, his first name is unknown, and uh, Miguel Nidoff. And so this game was played in 1930 in Warsaw, so in between the First World War and the Second World War. And so the game started off with the first move being d4 and so after which f5 was played c4 knight f6 and knight to c3 now this opening is called the dutch defense where the black plays f5 first in reply of white's first move d4 or c4 and so e6 could be is played knight to f3 d5 e3 c6 bishop d3 and bishop to d6. Now notice here this stonewall like structure. If you have not seen the stonewall defense before or the stonewall for white, I suggest you go to that lecture. I think that was February 2015 lecture and you can see it over there. And so castles was played. Castles, knight to e2, knight bd7, knight g5, now here in this position what I want you to do is pause the video for about 5 seconds and try to find the best move for black. Alright, so have you found the best move? The best move for black here is the tactical bishop takes h2. Now here you might ask, hold on a second, what happens after king takes h2? Alright, knight to g4 check, king g1, queen takes g5. Black just won white's pawn on h2 and has an amazing position where he can either bring his rook over here and try and checkmate the white king. So knight f4, queen h4, as you can see the checkmate threat on h2, so knight to h3. This knight looks pretty horrible, only has two squares to go to and yeah it's not a nice position for white. So what white played was king to h1 and knight to g4 f4, queen to e8, g3, queen h5, king g2, bishop to g1. Now here in this position, as you can see, what white is trying to do is trap this poor old bishop on h2. And so what black has to do is that he has to try and move away the bishop without giving space for white and try and move his queen over here at the same time. So he successfully did that by playing bishop to g1. Knight takes g1, queen to h2 check, king f3. Now here in this position, notice that if these pawns over here were missing, the rook would be attacking the king, the knight would be attacking the king, and the other rook could get out and try and attack the king as well. And so e5 was what black's plan was he was trying to clear up all the pawns so d takes e5 knight d takes e5 sacrificing another piece f takes e5 knight takes e5 notice how in this position that black cannot return to these squares over here and so he can only move forward king to f4 knight g6 king f3 now here in this position the last obstacle is this pawn over here and so what black is trying to do is remove it. So f4 was played, after which e takes f4. Now here in this position, what I want you to do is once again pause the video for about 20 seconds and try to find the best move in this position. Your hint is it is going to be checkmate in three moves. Alright, the checkmate in three moves is after bishop to g4 check. Now here notice that if the king moves the for instance, this queen is going to go and it's going to be inevitable checkmate because white has just lost a queen. And so king takes g4 and here checkmate in two moves is knight e5 check, f takes e5 is forced and the final move is h5 checkmate. Now here in this position you can see that this was all due to one silly mistake that white had made. And so if white hadn't made that mistake he would have had quite a normal game against knight off. I hope you guys enjoyed that game and the message for the game is that always keep pressure after you do a tactical sacrifice. So in this position when black did that tactical sacrifice over here where king takes h2 knight and then 
this night goes away and you see that the immense amount of pressure if you look at the position from White's point of view is massive so the psychological effect of this tactic is also massive and it will help you win a lot of games so that being said if you like that video please go down to the like button and press that and if you haven't already subscribed to this chess channel for more great videos and so that being said i'll see you next time